What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is the second video of the F8 conference. The first video that I did talked about the Oculus Go, we kind of went in depth about what they discussed last year and what they showcased this year at F8. The second video, which is this video, is going to be about augmented reality, how Facebook are using it for Facebook Messenger, and how they're using it for Instagram, and how they're using computer vision to essentially jump into your mind using virtual reality. So let's hop right in. So last year at F8, Facebook was really keen on getting developers to hop onto their augmented reality sort of applications and how they could build augmented reality for Facebook. This year at F8, they showcase how augmented reality can be used in Messenger and how you can try to kind of get your consumers to look at a product and then go and buy it or share it with people and get notifications about sort of new products coming in. The way that I'm looking at it is Facebook are looking at augmented reality to try and showcase products. It's really good for enterprise, e-commerce, and products that you know companies might wanna sell. So in this case, they showcase uh, how Nike and Facebook sort of partnered up together to showcase how a product could be used and sold. I now want to zoom in on the Nike experience. So having the ability to announce the first ever shoe drop on Messenger on stage in front of you is awesome in more ways than you know. First, you go to the Nike sneakers experience, and provided you have the right secret emoji code, you can unlock a bubble that then loads up the AR effects that Nike has built right into our native camera. The awesome part with this is that now you're in the room you're sitting in, and you have this awesome podium that shows up, and a brand new pair of Kyries just drops in front of you, literally. And you can actually walk to the shoe, get up close and personal with it, take photos and videos, and share them with your friends, ask them for their opinions. And when you're done with it and you close the camera, you're back into the experience where you can buy the shoe right then and there. Augmented reality is also coming to Instagram. Here is a little clip to showcase what Facebook are doing there. It's very similar to sort of the Snapchat filter, um, but check it out over here. You're gonna see a little fluffy dog and you're gonna think, what the hell is going on? Developers to create their own effects for the camera. And today, we're excited to bring that ability to Instagram as a closed beta. The effects our partners design will only show up in the camera of their followers so that the effects really feel authentic and genuine to the user. But non-followers will also have a way to find and use the effects. Let's say teen creator Liza Koshi creates a funny new filter. If I follow Liza, I'll automatically see the filter in my camera. But if I don't follow her, I can also try on the filter from any of my friend's stories who posted with it or any of the direct messages that they sent using it. This sharing model gives third parties a new channel to interact with their followers and reach new ones. And it gives users a set of new creative tools of expression and interaction that can be tied to real world moments on Instagram. Like being able to dunk on any of your friends during the playoffs or the finals, courtesy of the NBA. Can you show us the filter that you've been designing? Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Now, when you don't have Jif Palm in real life for your selfie, you have his filter with all his cuteness in it that he's designed for us. Thanks, Jif Palm. Nice work. Now, the last bit is the part that I am personally most interested in, and you have probably also tried to figure out what's going on because it's a little bit creepy. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's kind of creepy at the same time. Okay, so it's really hard for me to explain this last bit of the summary of FA because I'm not quite sure how it works. I don't know too much about the technology, but it absolutely blows my it blows my mind. Facebook can now take a 2D image and with computer vision, it can pointillize and map out a location of your two-dimensional image. So the way that Mark Zuckerberg explains it is you're going to hop into your memories, which kind of sounds like Inception. But here is basically a clip of Mark Zuckerberg explaining it. You know, now, if you have some photos from your childhood home, we can now use computer vision to fill in the gaps with this pointillism effect and recreate the rooms 
of your childhood home where you grew up. So you're going to be able to go into VR with your family and visit and feel like you were right there. It feels like you were in a dream. So this work of mapping out immersive spaces is just another important step on the path to creating uh, this real feeling of presence. Okay, so Mark Zuckerberg explained it. I still didn't really get what he was trying to say, but I still think it's really cool. Um, and Facebook then went a little bit further to explain how you can use augmented reality and virtual reality to use and create an environment with 3D objects. And I suppose they could also integrate that with um, this computer vision system. So you could take 3D objects and then potentially put it into a virtual space using this computer vision system, I'm thinking. Sort of like an integration of virtual and augmented reality uh, based on real things, but they're not actually 100% real. They're based on a lot of technology. We're also making immersive technology social from the start because virtual reality and augmented reality can help connect us in meaningful ways even when we're not in a headset. That's where the Facebook platform comes in. Facebook is where people come together and share and where we create communities around the world. So first let's talk about creating moments. We're doing this with interactive 3D posts on Facebook. So my friend Jen just moved into her new house and as a housewarming present, I bought her this fancy new mixer. The company that makes it used our 3D sharing API. So before it even arrives, I can send her a 3D preview of the gift on Facebook. It shows up in her newsfeed for her friends to admire from every angle. With one tap, you can bring a 3D object into Facebook camera using our AR technology. This means you can grab a 3D object right out of newsfeed and bring it straight into your world. And it's launching next month. Moving objects into VR takes this experience to an even more immersive and meaningful level. So because Jen lives two states away, my post actually created a moment for us together. It reminded us how much we miss each other. So we decided to get together in VR, in Facebook spaces, with a simple 360 photo of her kitchen and that 3D mixer object, the virtual Jen can give me a tour. But what if you don't have 3D modeling software and you want immersive experiences based on your own special moments? Well, you only have to wait a few months. This summer, we're rolling out 3D photos. You simply take a picture with your smartphone and upload it to Facebook as a 3D photo. So you've seen how you can create immersive experiences and you can capture them, but we can go a step further to help you remember them. We all have these albums of our memories on Facebook. Imagine taking these 2D photos and videos and with the magic of AI, reconstructing a place and a moment that's important to you. So what you're seeing is a 3D environment built with point cloud reconstruction from flat videos. You pop on a VR headset and you're there again, walking around, looking around corners, seeing the places where your memories happened. Maybe it's in your childhood home. It's like a Facebook album that has come to life. And most magical of all, you'll be able to go into these moments together with the people you care about. So that summarizes it. Augmented reality in Messenger, augmented reality in Instagram, 3D objects in your phone and sort of bringing it into the real world and then hopping into virtual reality and sort of bringing the virtual with the real world together. And then we've got sort of the next level computer vision um, mapping out of real world locations, but you're not there anymore, which is, you know, pretty insane. I'm not quite sure how, how that works out, but really exciting to see that VR Focus are going to keep you up to date with the latest information about what Facebook is doing. So check it out, subscribe to the VR Focus channel, go to the VR Focus website. And if you have any questions, comments, just put them in the comment section below or hit us up on Twitter and I will see you in the next video.